Good. Yes, great. So I am at our new office. Ah, oh, yeah, you go to an office, finally. Finally. So I can show you around. So I'll be sitting here. And William will be here. And Nuno has his own room. And I just wanted to show you this. What it says? Digital Technology Institute, School of Digital Technology. And what is your and junior my research is... fellow? Yeah, exactly. ah, okay, so they, they take you as a junior researcher. Yeah, junior research fellow. That's my title. Uh, like next to PhD student. Yeah. And also William, right? Well, William has a different position because he's a postdoc. But so, but what what is his title then? Is his junior uh, research? Fellow? Wait a sec. It says research fellow in movement yeah. and computational creativity. So he's not a junior anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's not. A, he he's mature. Like yeah, I guess you get your research, and that's different per country, no? Like that. Uh, um, I mean, more or less, you have a standard, but. Right. I just hear some they say go oh, uh, then that in France apparently they they have quite a uh, specific way to grade these things. Oh, I see. Anyway, nice. So proficiency, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how to say it in Estonian. How is it? How is it going, the Estonian? Estonian is slowly going. I mean, what I'm is thinking... like actually etymologically speaking, what is that come from? Is that close to Finnish? To but I am? like that's like a group that doesn't belong to nothing else, right? It's like Finnish and Estonian, a Hungarian, and then like a higher like if you go like more like in the root, yes, I guess, but. Um, what's close, like, uh, how do you say, like, you know, in the subgroup is just two of them. Uh, okay. Because I know like Finnish and Hungarian, they are close. I never heard mm. like Hungarian and Estonian, but I heard before of Finnish and Hungarian often. Could be, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very different. <laughs> Fixing my stuff. But it's going good building, here. Building building your stuff there. Yeah, yeah, but it's getting it's very it's getting better. Look, I'm super proud. I'll I'll also give you a tour. Wait, because yeah. I'm expecting a package. So what was this? No. Okay. I'll give you a small tour. So before was, uh, yeah, super messy. Like now it's not so, I mean, now it's messy, but I guess it's messy. So like here, for instance, you can see already my, all my tools are there. Ah, nice. Also there. So are quite, all my tools are, I mean, it's not true, not all, but it's quite a lot like there. So they, all the audiovisual digital, this is more mm -hmm. analog. The uh, analog uh, audiovisual cables, uh, lights. I bought like a lot of big boxes, <laughs> um, but there is still I have to sort out all this part. Yeah, but I have like for instance like two TVs and stuff like that. But look at this. This is super nice. This is like I guess I will put here, uh, the bed. So your yeah. bed. Yeah. <laughs> Like it uh, should be a modular space. Um, so it, look, it's not so bad like the last time, right? Yeah, yeah I see. It's, it's it's more organized. I mean, starting like, to get like grouped and yeah. Yeah, find, exactly. Like grouping. finding its places. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to describe that. I start grouping. So like in this <laughs> section, but this kind of like such a privilege because I have such a space 
I can just start like you, you know, just like throwing things, like mad, like in all that's in all this space are all my bags, you know, without sorting. And also sport equipment. Also here I have like uh, some floor where I want to like take it as a like the, the dance spot mm. I'll here. And there. Yeah, clothes. that's something like I try to like, you know, push this idea of having like a demo space for movement, but I don't think it's happening. Like you mean you guys like the did you win did you did you meet this uh yeah like so like a, a, a like a space with a green key and some small things. For example, yeah. But I don't think it will happen. I mean we could if you we try. You mean yeah. there in that space? Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like because you have so for what can, can you show me like a run again, just like this with a laptop? Yeah. It's not too bad, like, no, it's not I a mean, big space, guess, but like how we did practice. So totally doable, right? I mean, yeah, but like, yeah, it could be like, for instance, like if you guys, but then I guess it's up to you and William, because then you are the guy, the ones who are sharing that space. Right then to allocate a space to put, especially, you know, like to put a, a, a green key or like to hang a camera or something. Yeah. Although I don't think we can like drill holes in the walls. So I don't know how we do it, uh, but yeah, we need to see. But green key would be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Like, and I'm yeah. like ins insisting to have a standing desk. Like right now it's, we adjusted like the, the maximum height of the desk, so I could actually use it as a um, standing. But you know, I have to lift the monitor up somehow. I but mean, is this that, is laptop. So that, but those are the desks that they provide to you, like they were standing. It's kind of no, 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 not standing. But like if you if you see it, like the legs are adjustable. Like, oh, like the right. Uh, so this is like maximum, like extended. All the way. So it's not completely standing, but you can somehow use it. I mean, with my height, actually, it could be okay. But then I have to somehow, you know, lift the monitor up so that oh, I, yeah, yeah. But I can yeah, level like this. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. 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 No, but it's totally doable. Yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah. So I want to buy. Yeah. I would like to buy also that. Uh, but you have you have at home that I remember. In Germany, you have a desk like that, right? I had a standing desk for some time, yeah. And you it was like it? really did you bought it, or what? what how did you yeah, got it? Yeah, it was from Amazon. Like it's really like small, like not small, but it looks like a you know almost like a cabinet, like a size, like you know, the width is like almost like less than a meter, I think. And uh, yeah, just like you know, what's standing in like behind you the the rack or how to say it okay that thing yeah kind of like that almost it was okay but i don't know i think i threw it or something i don't remember but how much did you pay a lot for that you know you remember i don't know like something between 100 and 200 i think it's not it's not much so that is, yeah. uh, you bought a new, so yeah, you have to pay. Yeah. It. Yeah. Or maybe we should use Modena money to make the, to get the one that you can, you know, adjust the height automatically. <laughs> yes. You guys should use, but like, use that, yeah, part of like, yeah, resources from Modena. But it's like what the, Mod the Modena budget it was is fixed. I mean, the budget is fixed, right? So it's not like you know, we can just use it whatever we want. You know how much was the budget in total of the Modena project? I mean, that's uh, something open, right? Something that has to be like yeah, I don't have to go to the internal file. <laughs> no, for you. No. Uh, Modena's project start. Uh, no, where is it? I was actually looking at uh, Mirevi, the, the collaborator in Dusseldorf, the school. Oh. 
they said something about it. I was just checking because I was um, I was thinking about, I think I already wrote an email to Charlotte who's working there um, because I'm now interviewing dancers and choreographers. So I will reach out to you as well. And what specifically uh, are you searching for them? I'm just asking questions like what kind of tools do you use? And from there, um, I, okay. will, I, I need to understand the needs and what would, you know, like for the designing the platform, basically. Interesting. Super. Yeah, interesting. So Modena is co-funded by the Creative Europe program of the European Union with 1 million euro. But it also says 70% of the total project budget. So I, I don't know if it's like 70% of 1 million. So that's... Seven. No, I like, think that it sounds it sounds like that the the uh, creative EU is giving one million, and that means seventy percent of their budget, or maybe not. Not true. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. No, but that, that makes sense. So they will be like giving one no, million. But but it's co-funded by. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, but it's one million and something. Yeah, that's like a like, ballpark. Okay. One million. Yeah, you guys can buy a chair. <laughs> you guys can buy it at, at desk. Come on. <laughs> well, maybe like from now on, I have to like all the all the time in my videos, I have to say like you know, supported by Modena and creative. Uh, no, like co-founded by the European Union, <laughs> because I'm paid by you know my PhD position is uh, co-founded. Oh, by right, Modena. that's actually the 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 money of your PhD comes there. But half of it, yeah. Half and half of the school. Uh, the digital transformation. Uh, uh, I mean, that's another, I don't know, big department of the school. But is so is that department of the school? No, I mean, I don't know what's the right word, like not department, department, but a lab. I don't know what's wait, wait. What, what kind of. So it's not a faculty group. It's not a faculty. It's not. It's not even a department. I think it's like a like a lab or like a research group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay, maybe let's move on. Um, let's do this. Yes. I I just finished uh, just a few minutes before the the video, and I I went through the also the interview today. Did you? Did you listen? I did both. Like af after, um, after we talked last time, I think I went through both video and the uh, recording, audio recording. Super. Yeah. And... How, shall we, how shall we do? Do you want to maybe? How, yeah. How how shall we do? This? Yeah. Should we like, pick one first, like video or the talk? Okay. Yes. And which one is fresh for you, like video? Maybe. Um, I think to be honest, I think the video is um. I think it would be easier to talk of the video, mm. uh, and maybe after the interview, there is more conceptual points. I think to spend. So let's yeah. start with the videos. I, I guess yeah. you took notes, and then we we'll both share. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, I have notes already. I put it on Modena hybrid talk. I don't know if you want to see it or not, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. I give me a second. I just open this. But I might reorder some of the things. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, maybe let's do it like this, and then while while you speak, then I take notes, and when I'm speaking, you take notes. Uh. Yeah. So. Basically, can you see the link? I can just yeah, it's
Wait, it's not auto now. It's gone. No, you're not going. It's just you're mm -hmm. going the screen. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you sent it here. I was just suspecting that in WhatsApp. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah. Uh, okay. And um, let me see. Try to find it. Not this here. Click that. No, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, we can just work on this. Um, but I don't remember what. Ah, yeah, this one I wanted to talk about first. So basically, like the way I saw it is like. G give me a second, please. Yeah. All right. Uh... Yes, I'm wondering. I this show this. Mm. And this play. Okay, yeah. So, like, the most important thing I thought is like. When I was watching the video, like I thought a lot about, you know, as a spectator, like I could do this or what if I done this? Mm -hmm. Like, but I think that's because the structure is clear and it kind of, I mean, it goes back to this, you know, sandbox idea that because the, the foundation is there, we could just think about different directions, different actions, different objects, whatever that you could do. And I think also that's like related to the talk as well, like that people, it's, it's easy to enter to see the performance if you like it or not, like because the structure is clear, like it's easy to comment from the, the spectator's perspective. Um, so the rest of the notes are like from my spectator, um, as a spectator, what I wanted watching the, the performance, mm -hmm. like one is, um, we could explore a bit more with like crafting the space, like atmosphere. If we prepare more material, for example, like I like the part that in the very first like development, I play the video of me like walking outside, like just the, you know, trees. Mm -hmm. And then then I ask you to play the music, the, the environmental one, like the ambient one. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like, I didn't really, I don't know if I meant to do it or not, but it creates the kind of atmosphere, like audio visual wise, not, not including our bodies, which was like, it's, it's simple, but it's, it's it's effective because the rest of the show, mostly we were using our bodies, not so much with the video, except we have Hydra and some songs. Um, could you expand a little bit more on this idea of like crafting the space? Do you mean this is like aesthetically or what, how, how you perceive this? Aesthetically, yes. Like it's just like simple idea. Like, you know, if you put video of the forest and play the song of the forest, then it's kind of like immersive in an audiovisual way. Okay. Ah, okay. To take transform the space, let's say. Mm -hmm. But then I think that's that require that cannot be like improvised. I think we have to prepare material for this. Um, so that's then you know, like pros and cons. And the next thing is we could experiment a bit more with like different workshops or like two workshop slots, for example, because I think 15 minutes was quite long. What if we have like five minute slot 
at the beginning and then at one point we have like 10 minute work like second workshop like it's just like different topic yeah i think like just in general i think time is a question yeah time is a question um that also leads to this question that it's more like um the comment I had when I was improvising, like doing the show, like improvised performance in Colombia, that I was also using like timer. I said like, you know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And if it rings, that's that's over. Like basically how we did the practice. And there was a, you know, comment from a performer who's doing a lot of improvisation. And she said like, you know, if you're doing improvisation, you have to build it up and you can't expect to finish in 30 minutes. Like just, you have to keep it loose. And yeah, from like improvisers perspective, I understand and in a way like a compromise I made in the end was like, I do it for 15 minutes, but actually I'm aiming for 30 minutes. Like the timer rings at 15 minutes, but I continue the show and it will like end up around 30 minutes. And for our performance, like one thing I thought is like, since we can program the timer, we could, you know, add something to it, right? It, it goes like negative value, for example, or it reverse, you know, somehow like we can play with the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, I mean, not to over-engineer it, but I think it could be interesting to, I mean, just to brainstorm about time is probably like, it's, totally. it's important, yeah. I totally agree. Really... Yeah. And what is it? So that's that. Uh, yeah. Clash, like clash between the, like of two of us, maybe could be interesting. Like if I specify more, like, I think we're like giving too much space to each other. I mean, we're still experimenting a bit. Mm -hmm. That's how, how I see it from the performance. Uh, but yeah, I think I think after like another one month, will be clearer how we use the how 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 is our boundary, right? But that's like the practice we need, right? Um, Yeah, and like when I say conflict, it's not like that I make you angry or something. <laughs> Just, I mean, it could be part of it, but like more about like, yeah, like you, how we use the space between us. Um, and this is like more like a something practical, not practical, uh, is what if we use the video from the showing we did in the next performance. Like we have the video of the audience trying it. Like we have the screen recording. So we could include it in the next show. Could like add like multiplicity, like how we use like chat material for your um like this um what's called midterm uh, at the academy the showing it could be something to think about. I mean, we have a lot of material. We also like, we have chat and everything. So that's Do you want to expand more on this idea of multiplicity? Do you want to uh, yeah, like idea? just to have like adding more like confusion or how they say like bodies existing in different time, basically. Okay. Because that's something recorded. Yeah, right. But not just like you know playing back the recording, but we could also relate to that because, for example, we're doing the same workshop again, but we see different workshop video. Um, and I was <laughs> a bit afraid to think about like moving to Catedrala, the upstairs. Wow, yeah, different. Yeah. yeah, because uh, yeah. Also, like I feel like you know, 
getting a bit more comfortable to use the space downstairs in Comuna and yeah, but that's something, I mean, yeah, but we can talk also. I don't know if we can still change or if I want to change or not, that's that's not really like the point, but yeah, it's, it's different. Just a yeah. remark. I mean, it, it would be safe to use downstairs, right? Because we know the space and the crowd we expect, I think that would be totally fine. And mm -hmm. we have to like work from scratch. In Catedrala. And actually, this is like regarding the time. Uh, you put the song second time uh, in the slowed down playback. Right. That was really nice. I, I don't know why I just said it's cool. I, I should have elaborated more, but I said <laughs> slow down song. So nobody's cool. like it was. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, when I was watching, I was also like, if you also connect with the conversation, uh, I mean, we knew like that the hydro performs good, right? Yeah. But uh, just that part was uh, was very nice. Yeah. Mm. Very very interesting, and um, yeah. And this is a bit more practical, but um, yeah, if we, I mean, either space we use, like we could think a little bit more about the ergonomics, like, or like staging, well, the ergonomics side more because it would be nice if it's something like how we did practice, basically we move and then come back to the computer and move. If that's more seamless, then I think it's more fun. So again, for, I think I got for, lost. Oh, uh, just think about the staging so that um, we can come back to the computer and move in a more like seamless way. Because right, like that time, like this round, it was more separated. Your computer was somewhere else and my computer was, you know, like behind the cable. So it's not, you know, always like, it's always um, this extra step to reach out to the computer and then come back to the green screen. But when we're doing the practice, it's always, you know, I'm having a computer here and then I just move here, right? So if we could make that kind of space, maybe that would change the flow a little bit. No, but that's okay. Uh, so you're speaking on the flow of motion in regard to the laptop, right? Yeah. Like like, how, how, yeah, how... How fast, basically, oh, how how accessible is the laptop? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can be in different ways, right? I was thinking more like a Hydra coding side, but also like you're like moving here and there for the like to use the computer. I mean, also the lighting and all these consoles are like in one corner, so you had to go there anyways. But yeah, we could think yeah. a little bit. Yeah, how the yeah, positioning. yeah. I have some comment. I think on that. I think so. If okay. not, I just put something here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's it. Um, the last comment, I don't know why the frame rate was really bad with Hydra. I think I should experiment with, with Chrome or some different settings, but that's like- the Frame rate of what? Like uh, what, what's- so The Hydra, happened? like when, you know, in the last part when we were showing Hydra on the projector, the frame rate was pretty bad. I don't know why, and it's, it's just full HD, so it shouldn't be that bad. So, so but it it, be... so was it was it the computer or was it a delay in? It must be the computer because it's recorded on Black Magic. No, it's not recorded on Black Magic, but it goes through Black Magic. Yeah, I mean, we need some more testing, basically. And oh yeah, yeah. So then you mean that it was the, you mean that it was choppy, no? A bit choppy, yeah. A bit choppy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was very strange, true. Yeah. Could be also internet.
Oh. No, it's not connecting to anything. I mean, for the oh, so video check. video part. Yeah, but we we should check like the workflow and. Right. Okay. Yeah, for the video part, that's it for me. Yeah. Okay. So I will just. I guess maybe I will also copy paste. Ah, but uh, yeah. actually, what. One last thing, uh, where I said the crafting the space, I said uh, mainly audiovisual, but we could also like think about like fantasy, like ima imagining us in is a different space. What are you? What What are you talking about? What? Uh, where, where I highlighted like the crafting space. So yeah. I said I said like an example of you know audiovisual, like projecting the video and having like more like sounds to have like immersive space. But that's like from outside, but we could also, as a performer, we could also do it like inside out, like fantasize and, you know, just imagining in a different place and perform. That's like, I, I felt, felt like, at least for me, the body it was always there. I was always in that space, but if I perform in another context, I would also like think about me being different place or me having different body to perform. And that would add like different layers of performance, I think. So what you're saying is that you felt all the time you were quite conscious of being in that space and you wish that we could, perhaps we could use fantasy as a, as a way to get away from that physicality? Yeah, it's just like, I thought that would add like, you know, different layers to the performance because I felt it, it, it was a little bit flat in that sense, like the, the framework, the foundation of the performance, like the timing and this was really clear, but like, I felt the content was weak. Like we could work more. I mean, of course, like we didn't have much time. So I think that's, that, that's, that's like, I, I really liked it. I mean, I, I watched it again and I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, but yeah, like dramaturgy or like content material, we could work more and that will add, like also that's like connect to the multiplicity I said, because, you know, different fantasy background, everything can intersect on the stage, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the framework is there to be, you know, used in that sense, I think. Mm. Oh. And <laughs> something I just remember I didn't write, but I think I didn't like your uh, um, um, voice changer. You didn't like the voice? <laughs> <laughs> your, your uh, yeah, like the, the effect on the microphone. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. That's just a personal thing. Yeah. I, I get your intention to it. Yeah, it was last minute also. Yeah. yeah, but it's fine. We experimented. All right. Shall we make a break? Because it's going to end in five minutes. So before, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. yeah. Okay. We come back in like, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Yeah. Okay. I'll make tea, so let's say five minutes. Okay, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, good. Cool. Okay, so do you want to go to your comments? Then I can... Yeah. I'll just... Four months. By the way, this is exactly what I'm going to interview you with. What kind of tools do you use to take notes? Mm -hmm. I feed buying. Okay. Wine bolt. Okay. Um, beginning code. Interesting people get quite fast, and they start following. 
yeah so that beginning so the beginning there is this code as it it gets interesting quite fast like um there's not the need for nothing you know like people get in, engaged quite fast in in what are these people are doing um there's not too much happening you know when when people enter and nevertheless they fast they really fast catch the the mood and they start just they're quiet and just pay attention what do you mean by code uh like a cipher there is this uh there is this mystery because we we just we don't say even hello or anything we are just doing something so uh -huh. there is this cipher that people there is something going on and people don't know if that's a performance yet or not or why so there is this mystery i see um so all this is for the the the, the beginning so being more attentive to the other seems difficult to not being affected by the audience presence. This is exactly on what you're saying, like using imagination, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's, uh, I feel also the same is it's, it's, it's difficult to not, or I guess seems difficult to not being affected by the audience presence. Yeah, I guess in general is, yeah, I guess I guess in that comment when you mentioned it here, I said like yes and no in the sense of um is in I think I said in both in, in could be in both directions. One is like, for instance, if I think if I try to relate to the practice, in the practice I, I guess I can relate to just go away and in my own what I use in my words as a self-dissociation. So I will mm -hmm. use my imagination somehow to let it go somewhere else. Um so in that sense, I relate to what you're saying. In there, I was very much present what was going on. Um, so that could be one thing, like then how then use imagination as a to hijack uh myself, mm -hmm. right? Um, then then the other perspective also could be then how to use then how to engage with the audience. Yeah, totally. Uh, so it could be both, like one is like could be both like it serve as a tool, you know. I don't think it's one of uh, of the other. It's just that uh, one could be maybe trying to isolate oneself and just uh, go in a personal state, but the other one would be to go with the people, you know, in the journey. Which, yeah. to be honest, I think would be the aces, no? Like how? Uh, I don't know. I guess that's personal. Yeah, I mean, it's it's easy for sure. But I think, yeah, dramaturgically, we could play with it. I mean, that's something we could experiment. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, soft and slow. So I guess this was comments on me. Like, I think in general, like time-wise, I think I think in general, I feel the need to extend the performance. Like, if, especially we have this, I, I need to, uh, I will argue at least half an hour more. So that from one hour to make it one hour and a half. Like, I would prefer to be honest, like to do it two hours, but the one hour and a half will be more a compromise. Uh, and I think it could be possible if you also argue uh, why. And uh, um, because there are many things that I see also in the in the interesting um, comments from the interview, from that they could be possible to engage with. I mean, somehow we have, we, we, some of these comments, we know about these things, but we need time for let them affect, for basically for the space to affect us. Mm. So I, I, I use the terminology when I use about, when I speak about, uh, I mean, I use it in my, in my words as sigils or this idea of invisible labor or critical state. Uh, how to allow for the change so when something is changing or how to be sensible to notice the change uh, um, so in general I think time to have more time uh, and this I'm meaning also say for is because this, that's what I put it in my notes as uh, Jorge soft and slow like say even if we have just one hour we should find the time uh so that can be not an excuse uh to not slow down um for instance that's what i was a comment to myself like i guess that's in relation to just the beginning like 
the way who um, I guess I perceive myself changing between states was sometimes too hard. Or, for instance, at some point I said like, instead of, but same people, yeah. So at some point I I invite you and I, to sit, and I said like, uh, I notice there is people around. So I said instead of saying there's people around, so care about them so that they feel welcome. This is a comment I guess I was saying for myself, but that means. Like at that moment, I'm just kind of like more in that state of like, I guess I'm performing. So it's, uh, it's difficult for me to be more aware and more soft to invite the people. So, but I think in that moment, you we need time. So so we need to make the time uh, saying that, that that's, that's a good example. So we see it and the, the whole invitation is a gesture to acknowledge the, the, the people, but they should feel also welcome. So then to, and so that's a moment that, that I think, and like this should be other ones that we could use to make a, a bridge, especially because the, I'm I'm saying literally about you, you know what I mean? About you as audience. I'm telling you like you are, yeah, I'm, I'm mentioning about you. So there are some moments that perhaps we could just slow down and literally just like be, if at some point there are these breaches that we can also in the in the in the in the talk in the interview at some point they mention something in this, but I guess come back with the notes there. Could have been longer. If your body hurts, you can share. So at some point use that, take that real time. So I think that's why I said this idea of time is like it's really important uh for me. Uh so at some point I was I asked you also to stretch uh the lower back because my back mm. was really hurting. So and I used it a little bit, but I let it go too fast. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like an example of we talked on some of the chats before of how I don't remember exactly remember exactly the words that I used for that, but it was on this example of speaking and transforming the speaking. So saying that my pain, so I have just so is there's nothing about acting. So it's a real situation. My back hurts. So I could just take care of my back, but then slowly also then allow that to become something that is functional in 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 respect to what I need to do. Mm. Um, that I did, I did. For instance, like I I don't know if you noticed if you or if you can check it afterwards. The way who I I, I and this is in relation also to motion and the tools. The way who I just, I start approaching the 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 light console was in certain way. So it has yeah. a shape. Uh, so oh, yeah. because because the console also that's why from the beginning I guess that's why I proposed it on the floor because it was forcing me to go in certain way, so the affordance naturally create some shape. Then mm -hmm. I think I agree with you could be more explored this idea of. Yeah, so I guess in relation to the stage and the affordances with movements. Slow down, tame tech. Yeah. So tame so, uh, taking time for reactions so of the reaction time. And from both sides, often there's quite fast. It's kind of the like action reaction. Um, mm. we can like I don't I don't remember too much seeing from both sides then the reaction evolves in time. It's just kind of like, or I ignore you, you ignore me, or you react, or I react to you. But there is not this kind of like a, a crescendo of a reaction. It's often, or I not, or I'm there. Mm. So I think in terms of like, that will, uh, yeah, that I think that in terms of like giving more um, form, it will make uh, more dense the the fluid somehow. Yeah, yeah. Explore both positions to interact. Yeah, so this is what I was what I meant when you said like about the stage. I mentioned explore both positions to interact with our tools. So computers, keyboards, light, and sound console. Uh, so definitely there is this uh, 
we could explore that. Um, then maybe it will be interesting then to clarify our, you know, like some aspects like, yeah, we can, because we, especially in our performance, we have many things. So I don't think maybe have that approach with everything, say with an Apple, uh, maybe not, but with some things, for instance, like the computers, um some computers like yeah so that we just clarify maybe and then we need as you said like time to rehearse the tool yeah. like yeah. i think we in general we need time to rehearse the interaction with our tools mm. materials technician available during show to come help so i think it's more like a comment uh to put in, in some tech writer or like this is just a note that i i start seeing that the technicians wherever we go they are part of the show uh so yeah so i mean what i'm saying like because they will be just doing their work it, it doesn't change anything for them it's just for us to know and to clarify for the 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 venue that they we we might need them uh, which i think uh we think the aesthetics that we're working it fits perfectly and it's functional yeah um also will ease, I think if we also get more comfortable with this idea, it will ease, it might ease our load. Yeah. Work. Yeah, that was a lot of work for each of us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, that's part of it, but yeah, it was a lot, just to acknowledge. Yeah. So, and actually, so this is at some point, I guess in the interview, also I mentioned this, but maybe I go back there afterwards. Then... The guy from Ludmila was mentioning this, and I'm off. I mean, these days I'm thinking on that, reflecting this more DIY approach to the the performance at the intersection of dance and technology. Um, so that's something that maybe we could consider, like how robust some things must be, because but then we have to be conscious, especially in this framework. You know, mm -hmm. we decide okay, there are some things they must be robust. Uh, so and then we apply methodologies for design to create them. Uh, we know how to do it, uh, but then maybe not everything has to be like that. So if we don't have to make it like that, we can absolutely stage things, right? We can so instead of like maybe make it real time something, and and then dealing with the problem that that might not work, we just can create a video. Yeah, uh, it's just staging things and like thinking the load how much work do we want do we need because we might not for instance like there was a lot of work that we did uh before and we didn't use it so it's just i guess to clarify like i guess the intention like uh okay so in the workshop um the aesthetic sound like doesn't change that much especially at the beginning i think the change the the change back from the workshop the, from the workshop back to the performance was super good. You can really feel it. Uh, but the change from before to the workshop, it was not so strong. I didn't feel it mm -hmm. aesthetically. Help from the tech people to encourage. I, this is something that uh, I think in general, in general, I think uh, this idea of allies, like to use uh, you were also saying that when you were giving me some feedback from my work and, and the preparation for, for the academy, for the, the, the one in December. Like, it, we could maybe use uh, some people already in the audience to help us. Mm. To engage with the other one, especially when this, because there is a workshop, no? So uh, the technicians, for instance, in this case, uh, Matos, well, Ma, uh, Matos was doing that uh like uh, you see, uh, you see him doing that. So we could use that literally, like in that in this case, for instance, also was the guy from Ludmila Lab also helping with Hydra because he knew that. So for instance, like to have some people like this would be also useful. How to lead, convert if the people to interact. I guess this is more like a thing on design, but um, I don't know how. What is performance role? This, I mean, I'm I'm start thinking of this, you know, like 
with this idea of like the user kind of like a user audience or the user viewer um in design you have these funnels you know like in marketing i don't know if you're if, uh, are you familiar with this funnels you shared it marketing. before yeah so but basically the, the the main idea is like from somehow from the moment that some person is just walking outside and it just crosses an advertising to the moment that it converts into buying a product and so on. So there are certain steps and user experience and that I think we can absolutely apply in something like this if we define uh, the case. So I think this maybe could be like that. I think especially for the workshop it could be very useful to maybe to propose like personas uh, mm. because not everybody has to follow the workshop. You know, like there was the case in this performance and there were not so many people. The one person, for some reason, the guy was mad. Like uh, I, you could see in his language, like body language, he was, but my, I mean, I saw him in the moment, but when I was watching the video, I think also person, I don't know what is his, his story with the Kinoshiska with the other people, but there should be something, I don't know. But that the guy somehow was not so much in relation to the other ones. Like the other ones were kind of in combo and this guy was not with them. Oh. So, he, so he was alienated. Mm. So of course, like he won't be like, so then he, like, so it wasn't, I don't think it, the, the performance could have a different content and it's just like the person has this attitude uh, for some reason. So that could be something, you know, like maybe in the workshop, not everybody has, it needs to uh, participate. Like at some point also, there is so there is not enough computers, but also maybe you might want just to check uh, Instagram or Facebook, and it's absolutely fine. So I think a code of conduct for the workshop is very important, like to clarify what the people can do and not do, and then they they can be chill, like the the rules of the game to play together. Mm -hmm. Meet person. It might leave, yeah. So mid person doesn't engage in the workshop. It might leave or just isolate. In the 37, 36 reminder of a workshop can be more gentle. This was for me also is the same idea. Like at some point, I just mentioned and that the workshop will start, and I think it could have been more gentle, or maybe not. But I think my intention then was not that. You see what mm -hmm. I mean? Like the intention yeah. is like, like I think my intention was just like I, I, what I feel is like could have been just gentle, like to hey people, hey peeps, reminder, like in five minutes it's gonna finish, and I I just did it really like uh, very uh, harsh. So that it was so hard that the people just went to sit immediately, and then I have to mm -hmm. tell them, and then I have to tell them like I hey, no please keep on performing or something. I mean they just start playing with that, but yeah. I think it was just my my body language is kind of. I'm the MC there at that moment, and I'm telling them something, so they just, oh, no, now I'll just go sit, because there are not many things. Hey, to yeah, I see. Um, so, yeah, and, and I think that's important. What is the, what is, uh, what is our roles in that moment? Like, for instance, like, you could see, like, my body language is quite uncertain. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm trying to have this MC sometimes, but at the same time, I don't know, because I, if I remember back then, I was kind of like feeling like, no, the attractor should be them, not me. So I'm kind of, you could see my tension in my body. I'm going in and mm -hmm. out. This leading, not leading, even space. So maybe we could clarify what are our roles like, and, and we could use imagination for that. Yeah, for I guess, I mean, we could uh we, we have to talk about it later but like you're you can be guiding but not in the having the spotlight right you can be the director and they can be the performer because i think it's not uh it's actually not nice if we let them perform i mean they are there and they don't know what to do so we have to be clear that our intention is to guide. It's just that we're not on the, you know, in the spotlight. They have the, the attention. So, but I think this that you're saying is like clear. Maybe I mean we can start like, if you can just put down this that you said yeah. that we can keep it and 
could be the starting of some code of conduct for the beginning of the workshop. Mm -hmm. And just a quote, Mark, on this, I think would be interesting if we do, uh, if we use like the PIF camp as an opportunity to like uh, do a, a, a workshop there. But let's not talk on this right now. But it means that we have to move fast with that because I don't know how are the plan. But it would be good, like, um, also it's quote more, but I'm thinking also like the next step of my BR performance. I think somehow, I think I will slowly transform that in a performance that I start seeing like now as a workshop, the whole thing mm -hmm. uh, to explore more of this in that realm. Um, so I'm interested in exploring more the interaction with people I'm playing basically uh, mm -hmm. with certain context. So the more a uh, variety of situations so, so more uncomfortable would be us i think the better the more we we will learn like to be adaptable with the situations mm -hmm. okay so in general uh, code of conduct reading comments uh, at some point you were i think that was good at some point you were reading comments of the wall and i thought that was interesting so so I think, especially in the way how that workshop went, is like it's hard for the people to engage. Number one, somehow, because the people don't know so what to expect. So, like, they need somehow a push. The the audience needs a push, or we do a push through characters or through uh, some narrative, or also a strategy could be using allies inside of the audience and. So, but in general, we need to find a strategy to push the beginning so that they are start moving. Once one person start moving, the other ones will follow, right? right? Um, and then also, uh, the way how you did it was almost at the end, or at some point, it has to be at the end, but at some point, then we can check the interaction wall because there is mm -hmm. material. So, and I mean, and the material there is there. So if it's about the people, then we can read a comment then you you just wrote and then you will be happy. You know, then you have the focus in a soft way. So right. it feels good. It feels good because I feel acknowledged. Like I was just not just putting my, you feel like you feel care, like that is something there. So I think there is something that could be a way to engage with that world that somehow we can, because that wall is a soft way to interact with people because it's indirect, it's asynchronously. It's not in real time. Yep. Okay. Um, what if focus of workshop longer and in between we just make a huge mess? Okay, so what I mean with that is like, uh, what I mean is like I felt like one one idea is that the workshop was very interesting, but in as I as I mentioned, it needs time to build momentum. So maybe it's interesting also because you said that the workshop could be shorter. So I thought the opposite somehow. I thought like, what if the workshop is longer? Uh, or we could just experiment with the the timing of this. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that in between, especially like at the end that we did it this time, but could be even worse. What if at the end we just make a huge mess? You know, like it starts in a way abstract, you can say chaotic somehow, but still is is there. And then there is the workshop that is neat in terms of, of understanding everybody's on board. And then what if after that is just ramping up like just fucking crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, just, just, I was just thinking like, what if just at the point, like borderline uncomfortable with the audience, you know, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just was just, just one idea, like just pushing. But if instead of like, what if we start playing, you know, with foam, you know, like a water foam, so it's not smoke, but there's a smoke, but also there's foam, and then we just go, I don't know, like you can go just crazy with but, that. But you mean like afterwards, like after the workshop? No, uh, or, yeah, or during, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, like after the workshop, like at, 
No, I think the workshop still needs to have some, or I mean, we can maybe start some game. Say, for instance, I think like an an example of how I could see in my work is like if we introduce somehow foam, that is water. That's a, that's a huge mess. So if we somehow introduce it like just with bubbles, you know, like maybe mm -hmm. with bubbles in the air and stuff. Um, but then, then right when the when it finishes the workshop and we start performing, we just take that idea and we just expand it uh, hugely. Mm -hmm. So it's not this bubble, but it's just like a huge bubble that explodes and wets everybody, and it's just annoying. Um, yeah, yeah, something. Like that. That I, they, uh, that. Yeah, I think I the the way I said, you know, like we need some kind of like clash or, you know, like about the, you know, we have to work in terms of like boundary or space. I think that also aligns that like it was a bit like humble or like how to say it, like it was a bit tidy how we did it. That's right. Yeah, it's very, it's very respectful. <laughs> very respectful. Yeah. Uh, I think at some point what I felt it was going in that direction was with the apple, but it was too um, short because, and also I, I, like, especially because at some point I said, like, in, and I said, like, Naoto, we're going to race to eat the apple. So, and then when we finished, also, then you were eating, and it was a bit disgusting. I mean, you were trying to speak, and it's a bit disgusting. But then we didn't went through that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think, like, that could be could have been a moment where this could expand until it's just on, on <laughs> you, have to, you expect me to spit apples <laughs> yeah it's just something that you know but in that moment it has the potential of that true yeah, yeah also yeah, it I has the, it's you know it's just a bit gross also yeah, yeah did you put the did you put the apple in your pocket i always no, want I to ask you i eat it what do you mean but like did you eat the whole thing like you the, the center yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. but i do that okay yeah but i do that also like no i mean I I eat it all and then I will just uh, spit just the tiny pieces. The, the yeah, yeah, like seeds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but okay, I okay. I'm just, just eat it like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think something was very interesting, and I think that's that's what I mentioned to you in the WhatsApp. Like, check from that moment uh, in the interview yeah. is that she was speaking on at uh, that at some point you were interacting with ChatGPT, uh, like uh, yeah in the minute 50 you started like saying like this uh, taking this idea of like I think you I don't know what you did but what did you do with the uh, with this like did you type uh, what did you type as an input I can check actually it should be still there on the interface uh, I want to tell you a story. That was your type. Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. On my way to the train station. Yeah. I mean, I thought like that was great. Because, I mean, because because it was completely connecting this thing that I'm doing all the time. So, like, in terms of like uh, dramaturgy, there was like a, a specific narrative there, uh, and also you took a moment there so it was something that i think it was very that was interesting and also she was mentioning that as a potentiality of do something more in i think in regards to interaction with audience uh, mm. um, okay but let's move on and then come back with that uh slowing time song so yeah the from the 50 minutes slowing time so the last part, what you were saying, also that it was very good, like when you mentioned the school, I also thought it was cool. Very uh, nice critique. Yeah. Um, very. Uh, on point. On point. Um, what I also I like actually is that at some point they mentioned also, yeah, okay, now let, let, let me just, this will come back in the interview. Uh, but is this this idea of time like bend that's what I, I put in the in the mark as bending time yeah. like there should be ways then how to bend time and it could be a metaphor but could be physically for instance like a good example of this is at that moment that moment like the song is slowed down in time 
your movements also are slow. So it it really has this effect of like time is bending. Uh, for but I, I I was then wondering like perhaps that clock could ha could also bend. Like the time yeah. could have been slower at the moment. So we yeah. could think of, of these things like. Um, especially I'm wondering, like, for instance, like if we create some feature, uh, in the clock that it's like, at some point it will slow time that will be great if at some point, since the clock is so dominant, say it, if, if it's happening also at the same time, when this action is happening, the music, you're dancing is slow and then the clock is slowing. And it's just mm -hmm. the first time when the people are seeing, and it's obviously next to that. So that as an audience, you cannot avoid to look at the clock will be very interesting, you know, like what? Mm. Like it will make you feel that really time is slow because there is a counter that also physically, especially with this idea, especially with the clock, the clock I think will will be beautiful to, to manage to create a, a, some features of, when this slows the time yeah uh, because that really generates and uh the clock is a connection with reality and these people they use different words for that like of, about the clock uh, clocks have this authority and they use different words oh, different. I see. Uh, so if this authority like the clock or time is something that you know you cannot negotiate you know it's like it's a physical thing that is just it, it's time is linear so if we manage to bend the time that's why i like this idea of bending uh is is that's that's fantasy that's fantasy that's that's the that's magic so that's very theatrical mm -hmm. totally yeah i guess like we could just connect to midi controller or something and then yeah when you play a song just like change the slider yeah i uh well yeah with the slider will be easier yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Maybe focus, yeah, for instance, like I think this was a note for me, like I think that moment was beauty was wonderful, like I think that uh, it was very nice how things were happening organically, and I insist in not going there, like because I was worried, I was worried of I guess the aesthetics of the thing, um. Um, my feeling is that I think the easiest, I guess the easiest will have been just to follow the flow, uh, because the flow is just following there. Also, you call me, so it's like it's just it's just going there. Um, yeah, because the other the other op other option also that one can have is like if I have a clear intention, so if there's a contingency that I have prepared, this is when you using your words that's my my way of inter interpreting you crafting space that will that's mm -hmm. the way I will call it like somehow in my words is like creating a contingency that is a specific you know it's, it's a contingency means like that is that you have rehearsed so it comes from somewhere it's not just anything it's a contingency that you have work on that it's an option uh so it has a clear intention. If so, bring, going back to that moment, I was, I guess, I allowed to do certain actions that, uh, uh, I think, again, like the easiest option will be, because then I don't have to think. It's just like feel and go with the flow, and then just go with you. Mm. Um, but then I start fighting that. Mm. Um, if I so that's what I'm saying. Like the other option could be I could have a contingency, but then the contingency demands work and it demands also, I mean, in this specific in this specific framework or situation, it demands time for me to develop the reason and the intention. And also because then I will have yeah, it just it just work in general. Yeah. Or if you could have to reverse the time, then you just like let me do it and then you join the next time when you replay the song what if what if what will be amazing what if for reason that could be interesting like as a if we manage sometimes to do that like especially in that moment for instance something that could have worked is like so you are kind of floating and i'm paying attention but at some point i'm slightly doing some other things that are not doing too much but what if at some point i kind of like stop 
there's a button or something that I stop and then everything is froze, it's freeze. You, know, you like the music and everything is just freezing time. And then I can start doing something. Maybe I can tell them in that moment the story of my mom. You know, like it is completely like I, I really go in a normal way and then I tell the story. Yeah, that's like so. So that's very so. This is like very theatrical, no? Like this is in the idea of the yeah. fantasy and the content. Like this is a specific. It gives a specific content that the person that the audience can. It uses words, you know. It has a specific semiotic uh, mm. interaction with the audience. The audience follow you through. Um. Uh, but again, like I think uh, that was I guess the note was on me. Like uh, I think I could just have follow you. Um, and in general, I guess because I was being kind of, uh, I think I could try to risk more and then I propose a structure, but then maybe sometimes it doesn't matter, then maybe I can just play more and don't suffer that much with the structure and the time and so on. Um, yeah. yeah, now I started to see that, you know, like we could propose something that is like 30 minutes on the timer at first and it end up like two hour performance something. that would be great like because actually yeah. now this, this that you mentioned this makes sense because now like i was reflecting that i didn't like so much the uh timer count, counting back um mm. because i because i think it, it it creates this tension that is just linear so yeah. if it's this idea of like in terms of like bringing dramaturgy of content is already the time, which is, is such a thing, is linear. It's just going back forward. So it is true that it generates tension, especially in the last minutes, but it's linear. Like people are not going to get surprised. They know that at the end, there is the, the, the last 10 seconds, it just goes there. Uh, so that will be interesting, perhaps, if we said it. So it's 30 minutes, but at the end, it's maybe two, yeah, one hour and a half, two hours uh because then you're bending the time like then that that's very interesting especially with that because then the clock is so dominant and it's like the first i mean we are playing with time clearly okay so shall we come back and then talk about the the talk yeah yeah it's yeah. ending in one minute so uh yeah. do you need a break or no i don't uh yeah i might need to uh, okay. just, yeah like Two minutes. Go for yeah, water. Sure. Wait. Okay. Uh, but what do you mean by interview? Like the sound. Sorry. The mm -hmm. sound. The interview. Hope the talk. Talk. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, where am I? Okay. Uh, so to interact with AI to become <laughs> this is no. I I mentioned to you like uh with uh media like at some point in the minute three point twenty six, he says like to interact with AI and to become the bodies and everybody <laughs> was like what. <laughs> it was really funny to hear like the 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 audience like the the voice of Irina was like what. She said, she, she said out loud, like, what? <laughs> really funny. Uh, but then he, yeah, he expanded. He said, like, hey, what he wanted to say, like, to, yeah, to become another actor, you know, like, to, mm. like through, through the artificial intelligence, people become another actor in the space, which is true, like what we were saying. Uh, no, this is just a comment, I guess, for me. Forget about it. Uh, attractors. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. Attractor, attractors. We, in the performance, we are the attractors. In the workshop, they are the attractors. That was the idea. Mm. A timer counter authority. So this was coming from them. How to manipulate time? I was thinking even like yeah. even in the, in the onboarding, 
uh but maybe it would be good if you can write this like one of the things to the when when we say hello is when we say like there will be some magic tricks we will bend time you know like uh if you mentioned from the beginning like we are gonna bend time or something like that is this something you want to reveal at first that's my question uh I think it should be a surprise at one point. Yeah, 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 yeah. true, true, yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, but yeah, so, so yeah, so the timer, authority, how to manipulate time conceptually and physically. So I think this idea of time is beautiful because we never really, I mean, for us, it's just, it was, I guess in the practice has been an element that allow us to be free, basically because it's clear for us, like one hour, then just we finish. But I think in this idea of trying to generate some kind of content, or uh, I would say like more fluid, like or more density, I guess I will use this word density, uh, meaning that is at the point, I think uh, I make the analogy of uh, liquidity or like being not, uh, Say I would like to get something that is more viscose, so more dense, so less. Uh, so then it has this uh, blobby feature, you know, like uh, yeah, like blobs. The blobs have this thing. If it's uh, more dense in material, so it have they have more time to become. If this is a blob, to become two blobs. If they're dense, they need this time, right? But if these are two bubbles of what if this is a bubble of water, the water will do this. So if the thing is, I use the analogy because if the thing is we need more time, so the to I think we should try to find ways how to create density in some moments. Um, but you're referring to sorry about time or how, yeah yeah that's that's in relation to time but I was trying to make the analogy with mm -hmm. when we speak about like you use the words content but it's, it's the same like dramaturgy but I guess following that idea of fantasy and this is not this is not new we speak on this in the past when we speak about blobs so blobs I think are interesting because they are dense they have it's like lava, you know, like lava is not water. Lava has this density. The sound already is, is more, is, is dense. It has this form that is difficult to, yeah, it's, I think it's, it's, it's constantly moving, but it's shifting no so fast. A blob, if a blob of lava will change in certain time while the water will just change faster. So, um, yeah, I I mean that that I in that idea that I think use fantasy. I think I start seeing or this idea of the how how can we find more density? So not all the time, exactly. But but how to find sometimes ways? And actually, that's what I use like this idea of the blob or like this this density uh, analogy. Because that also serves with time. So if you use, if you if you think time is more like clock, clock, clock. If there is something that some for some reason is making the physical clock go slower, it will be a clock, clock. So it has a different density. It has a mm -hmm. a different a form than the normal of the clock. Took, took. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something that I found very interesting that uh, they mentioned at some point is that, and I think we could use it especially in Slovenia, like that in Slovenian, actor and player means the same. The word, yeah, they said the that. word, yeah. So we need to find out that word. <laughs> what is the word? Uh, and perfection versus versus playfulness as tool for. I mean, like, I think in general, like the, no, let me go through the notes. So perfection versus playfulness as a tool for, I guess it's a, 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 something that I have to develop more. Um, but it, is that, no, like, I don't know, in the interview, um, I mentioned, I think it was in this idea of some 
they also mentioned that that in the idea of ballet, ballet aims, uh, I guess this came when I started sharing this idea of Dora Garcia of rehearsal as a performance and then the critique of the that in performing arts, the work is normally towards perfection in terms of rehearsal, while in fine arts, there is not such a thing. Um, yeah, so I guess it's in in that in that place. Um, so how to find more playfulness for us? So I guess this could be attached to when you're mentioning conflict. This conflict, I mean, the play, a game, a good game has conflict. is is dramatic. Mm. A, a game is not linear. I, I, like, yeah, I think a perfect example of this is like tennis. Lately, I'm quite in, intrigued with tennis. Tennis is wonderful. In cybernetics, you find a lot of things of examples of of uh, of tennis and flow. This idea of flow, um, and a good game is not linear. And you need the both people or the people, the people who are engaged, they need to have certain levels of literacy to be able to generate flow. Otherwise, it's just like a power relation where the other one just right. It's not so interesting from the outside perspective. It will be good for the winner, you know, because then yeah, well, just... it probably isn't fun, also. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If it idea that does the work. If it is because it might be good because they earn money. But if mm -hmm. the idea is about fun, playfulness, is not fun. There's not right. there's no challenge. Right. Right. So played spell out of the rules. This is something that was, I think, very interesting also. Like somebody was saying, like, spell out, like say, mention the rules so that the people understand what are we playing. So I guess I was especially I think when we speak about the workshop. Uh in the practice, I think that could be also possible, but that demands more work because that's basically what we're trying to do two years ago with the idea of a workshop. We are trying to put rules in our game, but it's more complicated because we have our ways. Right. Uh, but now we have this specific framework. So somehow, uh, yeah. So I think in terms of like the, the choreography or the dramaturgy, we could be clear on sharing at some point, certain scores. Mm. So basically saying what are the, the rules of the game. Um, showing the cables, not cleaning, not, uh, not clean. Yeah, not cleaning. It tells the story about things are working, how, how things are working. This was this guy, Ludmila, he was speaking on on this DIY idea, like mm -hmm. like he was mentioning this like a stereotype of in our electronica with the Japanese artists being super clean in this like yeah I think um so it's in the spirit of this DIY uh, that I mentioned also like us and this I, I guess it was my interpretation is like robustness, like especially from the engineering point of view, especially, especially because we can do these kind of things, you know, it's like, because we, because we have this kind of knowledge. So uh, we should be smart also the way how we work and then we can be lazy, you know, as, the, as a good programmer, then, um, then we don't have to work all the time. Then we could use, we can stage things one, for instance, like that's something we should definitely do, uh, stage things. We should use the help of the technicians. They are paid for that, you know, like they will be happy to do that work. That's what they do. Uh, so I think, yeah, um, to find out other ways to make it more DIY so that we clarified what are certain interfaces that might be robust uh, maybe there are other ones that don't have to be, and we just stage them. Ludmila Lab guy, yeah. So this idea, how robust, uh, transparent, and easy. And so I guess the idea, this is connected what he was saying, like showing the cables. Um, 
we are we have that spirit you know like we are not especially i mean i, I like to uh i was teaching you with my clothes uh in purpose like uh it does the way like this is our, our cable somehow i think are part of like are the clothes like um you know like this is part of the process how things they go um yeah so this idea of transparent and easy um but yeah so this is to say like i was teasing you with the clothes that's because at some point like i mean uh i also noticed especially for the performance i thought like no i should move these things away and i move them but then i keep certain things they were quite a lot at the end in in all that place in front where the people are seated like where my clothes mm -hmm. were and i just i didn't hang them you know because normally mm -hmm. you you hang the clothes like they're properly like the I won't do that. Um, yeah, so this is more organic. Uh, the last, so this is part of what when I mentioned you, I think it's very interesting. If I don't know, did you did you hear hear it? Uh, did you listen again to the last ten minutes? And the in, uh, the artist talk, yeah, yeah. But I didn't yeah. know what what you mentioned. Uh, so I think like mainly is like I think there are two two topics that I that I mentioned from there. Is like one, um, yeah. I think she is. I think is the, the the first like letting the body to be affected by the no, no. Wait, so I don't know. I guess it's not. So she is start mentioning uh the at the, the, the that that moment the fifty point thirty, she says about when you were uh, using ChatGPT and then she started going more abstract and creating scenarios. For instance, she was saying that perhaps that could be a way how people can in exchange with some, some chat and generate a story, or this is my interpretation right now. She was saying that, that, that she sees the potential of this tool, especially because I think it carries our our language. Um, so if this is, I think she didn't know that. So this is part of, for instance, when this idea of clarify the rules of the game is important. So if at some point we clarify them, like this is actually us, mm. what is it right now. So so it's not just a chat GPT. This is us right now. Um, and this is what I guess I used before when when. I think that's then then it's important then to use the right language. I think then mentioning as like as nonsense in a, in that specific context, say in the performance, it might not be so useful because then the people will think that it's just anything. Mm -hmm. Is anything within the framework that is our words. So um so yeah, so but she was mentioning that that has a lot of potential, and I agree that uh but the, the also they might demand a lot of work. Because basically you are having kind of like a atomic bomb situation if somehow um depends, no say like I think she she mentioned clearly like what if you know there is a story that, that a person creates and then based on the story we react. Mm. Uh, it just demand it just demands uh try it out. I guess I guess I think uh, the main idea, which I completely agree, uh, in an abstraction, is that let the people interact with this because these are words. So this is something that people can relate. This is not Hydra. So mm -hmm. this the people can just you know this is just language. So they can understand that it's not level. The level of abstraction is very limited. So they can engage, and then based on the exchange. And based on what we get from the chat, we can respond. I think that's the that's the main idea, and that could mean different things. How do we respond to this text because it's text based interaction from the audience because it's coming from the audience? And she was seeing that as a very interesting because it's the I mean is is the is she you know is the audience they can be engaged. It could be like, I mean, the Modena thing is happening there, right? Yeah. Um, so that was one thing she was mentioning. 
and then this guy and then i got a bit lost i think it's a bit complicated the the other dance guy he started speaking metaphorically on this idea of letting the body to be affected by the image feet yeah which is basically what we do i mean i, I mean in a, in a practice the way who i feel when the this the the sandbox is like that you know we start doing these feedbacks and then my body becomes your body and that's what we basically we, we i understand that what we do just being affected by the image so we do this i think the the main idea he was trying to say is like he would he he would like to have this image back to material world yeah and then she, he was using this reverse materialization possible in bio art and he was going in a more sci-fi or complicated place. Yeah, um, like a more speculative. Yeah. But could be that we could be that maybe we pay attention because we are doing that. So maybe, for instance, there could be a moment also where we could explain the game, meaning that we can tell them literally or not that uh, that we are doing that. You see what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Or I mean, that's what I mean, like literally or not. This is a, like a moment, could be just an abstraction, could be that just, but this is something that I, in, in the talk, I mentioned, this is a good idea, but I mentioned that again, this is about time because this is about sensibility and how we, it's not about us because we are used to the work. It's about how we manage to slow time and then sharing and be sensible to share and be sensible to sense that the people are getting that we are transmuting and materially and creating material from the image because we are doing that in the practice, but maybe the people are not getting that. Yeah. I see. Yeah, this is a difficult question. I mean, yeah. One thing I thought was like, you know, we could also ask someone from like bio art or some, you know, different um, field and invite them to a talk, for example. Uh, I mean, that's like very specific to this specific topic of the performance. So it's not really like covering everything, but um, yeah, I mean, not necessarily we're doing bio art, but like if we could talk with someone and somehow like, you know, situate ourselves or, okay. yeah. Actually, yeah, I didn't. This is interesting that you mentioned it because this could be, and we could use. I would be interested in use resources to, like, um, because I think this is a matter of wording of using, and I think in in that regard, I I send you also my message, uh, mm. when I was in the training station, uh, it's a matter of just finding the language to basically saying, uh, we are doing that. Uh, but I guess so. I guess we could do that, but I guess there are other people who are. Yeah, uh, I mean, I have like I just have high level comments about the whole artist talk, and right now I I think my capacity is like going to the limit yeah. um, after some meetings today. So I'll just keep it short. I oh, I have to keep it short. But um, the way I felt is like there's so many interesting discussions, but it's it's very difficult to follow because everyone's saying whatever they want to say, which is good, but also like we somehow like, I, I, I feel like we need to somehow organize in a way that, you know, we have our taxonomy or glossary or, you know, we have to take it a bit slower. Otherwise, like, it's great. We have bio art, spaceship, whatever, but then it's exciting, but it's like, I feel like we have to be like a bit more grounded and we could have, you know, said first part we talk, we explain our work and then we have discussion. Um, it was more like naturally, it became like a discussion, right? Uh, in the artist talk, which is okay. And it's like a small group, so it's fine. Right. But I think it's also like um, exercise for us to, you know, just to like, yeah like make it a bit more uh you know how do we explain our project to someone who never saw what we've done or you know i mean there's also a personal question like we could 
think about what about dance audience? What about media art audience? How do we explain our work? Because I think we need, we're somehow like, I felt like we're lacking the shared knowledge. And if we, if everyone's saying that this is cool, that is cool, then it's, it's exciting. It's inspiring, but are we right. advancing? Maybe not the most efficient way. I mean, to me, to, to me, it was very difficult to follow. That's, that's what I would say. And yeah, um, that we could try like different strategy like next time. I felt, I mean, or like I wanted to suggest something, but okay, like, yeah, just, just to keep in the mind. Also like maybe like an exercise for us to, yeah, like maybe it could be writing or it could be something to reflect on our practice again. We haven't done it. I yeah, um, but I think but I think that um well, my feeling is that also because we have some resources, no? So well we have to also to make an appointment to talk on this like like the resources. Like but for instance, like I will be interested in I, I think it would be interesting if some uh, external person can write about this specific work that it actually that it comes from the from practice um but then the person so i guess i'm seeing actually two persons like one is like more like a kind of like a danae person who is more almost like or more neutral interesting writing but more like neutral in that sense like almost like describing i guess situating the work but also next to that i also would like to see somebody more like danny you know or somebody who uh, can write something that danny is, is poetic danny, the one. Uh, uh, or mm -hmm. Or somebody else. Uh, but so, but I, I think he, I would like if if I could choose, if we could do it, I would like to have two small texts of the of this uh, state of the performance. One that is more like, I guess, in a more readable language. Say like the way how mm -hmm. a person would write for a magazine, like a review of a piece. So mm -hmm. that different people can read it as a so a critic, uh, so a dance critic, uh, and then could be interesting to find somebody that we find interesting. Uh, that's why I thought maybe Danae could be uh, some someone. But then next to that, also somebody so like an artist or a philosopher, somebody who I guess could write more entangled, but also with more uh, subjectivity. Yeah, with, with more substance, like with more density, with more juice than just being yeah. i mean i'm saying this like the... I, I get your point yeah 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 <laughs> yeah i mean we could i mean i think we have to talk about this next time but uh we can pay them to write it right that's why yeah that's why yeah yeah so one is so in a way i see it one is like an article or something or article like a dance critic like a mm. uh and the second one uh, yeah I guess I see it more close to philosophy and sophie or I don't know how to describe it like then yeah like impression um actually cared so in a way is like it should be entangled, but I guess if we put somebody, I think we need to find a balance. Like if we put somebody who is like too much into philosophy and it, it, it can, yeah. yeah it can it, it has to be like for a lay person to. It must be, it must understand. be like a, like more like an artist, like somebody who actually, yeah, I think like, I don't know, we Danny do these kind of exercises, for instance, like I will see here tomorrow, like, but, um, but I like, for instance, like I would, would be the way who, like Danny writes or the way how, how she speaks uh, uh, and also because she she likes her work she knows me she's a close person she knows the work uh, she likes it very much she believed it from the beginning she kind of got the essence because also she has this very similar work right that is uh, ocean so uh, I think it would be would be very nice if she could do it yeah um, so maybe I will just mention to her like uh uh unofficially if she can 
yeah let me, let yeah me i mean also you can just ask for like you know how much does she need for writing like and then how much you expect and then how, how much what do we expect actually yeah i mean like like less than one page is fine right like a4 uh, like I'm a maximum thinking, like yeah, a max that's, a4. that's quite a lot that's quite a lot of text you know i mean even like a paragraph yeah, it's like a paragraph a, like, yeah paragraph is a bit uh um, sure. <laughs> no, like an abstract, it can be a long paragraph, a short paragraph. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I would trust uh, her and you, but yeah, something not too heavy, but you know, but also, you know, she needs to go through the one hour of video and then, you know, writing. So I would say it's at least like five hours of work. And yeah, how much was that count? <laughs> Um, so we are counting but this is good that you're mentioning like we have to count this is good that you're mentioning so we so i would like if she can uh watch the video i i think i found a in, i like the interview uh, uh i mean the interview is but i don't know they, I, to be honest like to me like it's a, it's a bit too specific in this case but i mean what i think what i like from the interviews in the interview there are things that are mentioned from the practice that they are quite like for instance like the main ideas the uh so i think like the problem no wait so i think what i like from the interview is like is getting wait let me try to say it differently i think i what is i think is difficult of the interview is that in the project of modina it didn't do too much but I think in the in the best practices, it people got the intention of the practice, you know, like they're they in different ways. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, they got idea of this of not have to do something good, you know, like like main things that do the practice. Uh, I mean, we, because we mentioned that we started in no with the idea of doing something good, but that we fail, so they really got that idea. Um, so. Or or could be that we just share a text. I mean, that we ask her to watch the video for one hour and then to read a text. Oh, could be. Something like, we write. Yeah. Sorry? No. Something we, we prepare? We no, have we're something? Not, we're not going to write, but we have to choose. But that's what I mean. Like, for me, the, the, the interview was performing in, his, in this idea of, like, getting the history of the practice mm -hmm. of how to but then like uh, the, the, yeah I, I i get it but then it's that's like 10 minutes of one hour right yeah kind that's, of. that's true then you have to edit it no 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 because that's the thing so, <laughs> because one hour is long to listen to and it's like so many like different things that are not really not relevant, relevant especially in her text to be written so let's talk about it next time and um but you, you know, if you could ask her already, like just uh, as a, you know, just to get the sense of you know how much she would expect. I'm, I'm just like just ballpark. I think from our budget, like something like two hundred or three hundred. Would that make sense, or is it Top, like tops? Like we can. So in a way, say like because five five hours of work would not be three hundred. Will be more. No. So like say like we expect from her. I mean, I would say like in a way that we, I think more like, especially since there is not, if it's just one video of one hour and then reading something and then writing, I think three hours is not true. That I mean, this is like just thinking in an office, like somebody was just writing fast. Mm. But I think like five hours. Okay, so let's do it, just the exercise for just the sake fast. So if it's five hours and you pay the hour of 50 euros, how much is that? 250 so, so that's not a bad uh, estimation. Like I was, yeah, I would say two fifty is like fair. So we're paying fifty euros. I hour. would say it's it's on the generous side in the art 200. field. I would say, I mean, two fifty. Let's say two fifty, and then then you know we can also adjust. If, yeah, if you think there's like that, or if yeah, yeah. but that would be, I would be super happy. She, but then we need to find a fucking text. I don't know. We, that, that we talk next time because I can't really think about it now and also we shouldn't be yeah stressed I mean we have time so 
that's right. that's a good thing. So we can. Yeah. Okay. But then I talked to her. I talked to her, and and, and yeah, could be also the also if she agreed that she could start by watching the one hour video. Yeah, and hundred fifty videos. <laughs> yeah, let's say like we offered two hundred fifty. We expect you to watch the whole playlist of the practices and the chat. The chat. Take obviously. notes. Yes. And we expect that you can. Do, I mean, we know. Well, that actually, actually, that's the, that that is work. <laughs> That was the nice. That was that, that was the nice. Uh, the nice work. Okay. Yeah, like you have to do all the annotation, and you have to like you know find what's the correlation between the practice and this chat, which is mentioned, you know, and the <laughs> and the book it. reference, and you know, like <laughs> timestamp. YouTube. These are the password. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in five hours. <laughs> You know, but it's okay. so funny because I I've been talking to people and I'm like I just keep telling people that you know I'm not making a video annotation tool because nobody is watching re like rehearsal videos anymore, and like what we're doing is like we watch videos of rehearsals and I'm just you know time coding everything. I don't know if you watched uh, the one I uploaded, but I put all the time code, like Which like anno annotation, like the the showing basically. No. I no. so when when we said you know we're gonna um, review it, what I did is basically I went through the video and time code. Uh, I can do the screen share. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna share sound. Optimize for video clip maybe. Um, so yeah, if you go here. Then basically, you know, you see like this, this part is like waiting for the audience and then, you know, the development starts and then lights on and Jorge counting audience and we're acknowledging audience like we're sitting together. Like everything is like now time coded. So far, yeah, like, yeah, the, I look, uh, this, these 360 videos are amazing. I mean, they're so useful to have this fucking view, especially in this performance, no? But the quality of the video you cannot compare. How how what was the quality of this video? This one's 4K. Yeah, like if you compare. Like, yeah, and it's just like you know, like this fraction of 360 video, right? Like in terms of angle. Yeah, but it, it's just a tool, no? It, it's just a tool, like. Uh, but I mean, just to know what is happening in the space. Uh, mm. um, with my TV, I realize with the remote, I can. I don't have I can, <sighs> with the remote. That's I can doing. like. So, and, and then I can make videos and look nice. I see. Yeah. 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 It's good for reviewing. Not maybe not for, I mean, it depends on the presentation or not, but for reviewing, it's definitely good. Yeah. And uh, so I got my new camera. So this one, the sensor on this one should be a little bit better for the color. Okay. Something that I, that I thought could be better for the next time is like to put on a, a dedicated microphone because the sound is, is, the sound is painful for the for the uh, 360 recording. Okay, I mean you can put a microphone, so just to put uh, like a, like a, to whatever a Zoom recorder or anything that can record properly the sound because the microphone. Yeah. I mean, I have separate sound file, right? I mean, did I give it to you or no? From my Zoom recorder. Um, I th yeah, you 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 gave it to me. Yeah, but then you have to synchronize so if it's the. Uh... Yeah, but anyway, I will have to do it. Even if I record it in my, I know. Actually, I hope if you, you just connect it, it's fine. If yeah. you connect it, you just take the audio from the microphone, and then it's just exactly. Right. It's just I, there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so we should do that. Yes, I bought a new uh, rain jacket, which is has different colors. I mean, same one as the one I had before. What? But diff but different colors, you know, like the rain jacket, like uh, I have one with like a blue and yellow and pink, and I bought a new one, which is like purple and red and green, I think. So I'll put the receipt and the Modena budget. It's like 13 bucks. Ah, did you bought a new, a new, uh, but we'll be, we'll be, yeah, yeah, do, yeah do, do, yes, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be part of the performance too. <laughs> but will be, but will sure. be interesting more like, I think will be interesting more if, for instance, like doesn't have that 
if you could have bought two of those. Right. Yeah, that was second hand and it's just like one like small one. But I'll I mean, anyways, I'll be like looking for clothes anyways. So yeah, it, yeah I it, I'll keep it up in my mind. Buy, uh, well, we need to we need to get these lab coats. That too, yeah. True. I mean we need we need we don't need to buy, we need to talk, we need to think what 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 do we need? Yeah. We break into but the yes, but it's totally fine. But it's totally fine, it's totally fine. Uh yeah, I'm, so I'm going tomorrow to to Cologne. Uh, just uh tomorrow. You said what? What? I'm going said, to yeah. Because also, I'm going tomorrow, but uh, coming back on Sunday, and I coming yeah. back on Thursday next week. Next week. So that's initially need, you said yeah. Yeah, I need I need uh, I still need a place for for next Thursday because I yeah. I actually, so if you're watching, it. please yes. comment in the video. In place, <laughs> and you, but you said to write in that play in the thing. I haven't done it. Yeah, you should. I mean, I mean, oh, I mean, also I could do it, but then you have to like you know transfer email. And, you know, like, it, you just have to it? subscribe, and like it's a mailing list. It's a really chaotic mailing list that everyone writes whatever. Um, you know. Did you did you send it to me? Like the how do I find it? Uh, it it's ending in one minute. Uh, let's just like do a backstage. Okay.